We wanted to make a spell that hits the enemies with many little cuts for our game. We decided to spawn them with a particle system. You could simply spawn them and use a color gradient to fade them in. However, a slash should appear from one side to another, not all at once. You could make a little sprite sheet animation, but it's difficult to get these smooth. Here is a useful fragment shader technique that allows us to fade particles in and out like in a typical reveal shader. The challenge is to reveal each particle in respect to its own lifetime. And we will use it to do something like the cross slash from Final Fantasy. Let's add a gradient to the particles material that modulates each particle from black to white over its lifetime. We quickly stumbled upon a behavior of the shader that we found strange. Let's say we write color equals color. This should not change anything, one might think. But it does, the whole texture vanishes. This is an interaction with the particles material, which apparently writes the fading color in the variable. So we can set the color to the texture, but then it's missing the fading. We can reconstruct what happens internally by multiplying both. Figuring that out was actually already the difficult part. We use the color as particle life and sample the texture. And we use the grayscale slash texture so that we can map its brightness to any color we want. For this mapping, we add a sampler uniform, which we set to a gradient texture. We then read the gradient using the pixel's brightness as the UV coordinate. You can multiply the brightness with the color or simply set it. We calculate the appearance state based on the particle's lifetime and the exposition of the UV. You can play around with these parameters to change how much the left and right of the image differ in the fading process. If the particle has appeared, we calculate a color based on the shifted image color and the fade gradient. And that's it! We can highly customize the color with the two gradients and import different images for shading. We really hope you like this quick shader. You can subscribe for more tutorials and devlogs.